Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster, and I was asked a question recently about how I design my carvings. Um, and I racked my brains for a little bit, and I kind of realised that mostly nowadays it's fairly intuitive for me. I have a vague idea of what I want to create, um, and I just kind of get on with it. Um, but it got me thinking about kind of, you know, the stuff I do tends to be kind of quite functional, um, as opposed to particularly sort of pretty or uh, aesthetically pleasing. Um, and that's just my style of carving. Um, so I was having a look around. I found a couple of things that I carved a while ago that I thought would demonstrate my point. Um, and I thought I'd show you them today. Um, so let me move the camera around a bit so you can get a better view. And I'll sort of explain my thoughts a little bit for you. Right then guys, so as you know I enjoy my coffee, so I thought I'd use two coffee scoops that I made sort of roughly about the same time as each other, um, and one of them, I mean they're not, neither of them are particularly beautiful, um, but one of them is kind of more aesthetically designed than the other. Now this is the one I'm talking about, this is the one that I, uh, I, I mean I really still like this concept, um, it's a really kind of nice pretty looking piece, um, you know it's, it looks hand carved, you can tell it's hand carved, but at the same time it kind of looks um, more manufactured in its shape, if that makes a, a vague kind of sense. Um, and I really, really liked this. I made a, a batch of these, I gave a load out to friends, um, and the idea being you've got this little scoop in here, so it looks more like a sort of, like, as I say, a manufactured scoop, and that goes into my coffee jar tip it out into my um, my percolator machine um, and all good. And the other one is this. This is much more of a spoon shaped design. Again, a very simple basic spoon. You know, they've both been oiled and, and waxed so they look really, really nice anyway. Um, but this is a much more sort of traditional spoon shape. Um, now to make these, I normally start off with something like this. This is how I do my design. Um, and these are just rough templates cut out of sort of flex flexible plastic material. They're very durable. I can reuse them time and time again. Um, and I think both of these have stayed relatively true to the original. You know, a little bit of sort of uh, artistic license on my part. Um, but what I really wanted to say is that, you know, this video is more about kind of form over function. So this is the one that personally, and this is a, you know, aesthetics are a very personal thing. I know some people will prefer the look of this, um, and that's just a personal choice. I much prefer the look of this. Um, I think it's a much nicer looking scoop. Um, I think the design overall is, is a lot more pleasing to the eye. The problem I have is that functionally, although this will scoop coffee grounds out of a tub and I can pour them into my uh, little percolator, you get a lot of stuff caught up in here. Doesn't matter how loosely or lightly I scoop it out, I always get stuff caught up. Now, in reality, that's not a problem. It's no issue whatsoever. Um, it just sort of annoys me on a very sort of mild level. Um, in comparison, this is the one I use pretty much on a daily basis, and because it's got a much wider um, and shallower scoop to it, and it's actually a bit bigger as well, so I can actually get more coffee in this one. Um, now I find, I, to use this, I need to do three to four scoops, I need to tap it out each time, sometimes get something in there just to get the last of the grounds out. This one, it just takes two scoops, scoop it up, turn it over, repeat. Um, no issues, nothing getting clogged up in there, um, so that's why I use this one more than the other. Um, and to me, these functional items, you know, they, they, they look nice enough as far as I'm concerned, um, but the fact that they function and they do their job 100% um, with no, and albeit a very minor fiddly annoyance, um, I much, much prefer something that does its job. Um, if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you'll notice that most of the things I carve, although there'll be a design of sorts in there, um, whether it's a bowl, a spoon, a spatula, a cookser, whatever, um, I will start off with a basic design, and, and barring any catastrophes, they generally end up looking roughly how I want them. Um, but I tend, as I say, to go for uh, functionality 
over aesthetics. Um, that won't suit everybody and when I've seen people who will make something not too dissimilar from this um, but they will spend a lot more time and effort um, putting in lots of embellishments and finishing touches, maybe some chip carving or some coal rossing um, and I've played around with it in the past but for me personally and it's just personal opinion I find the extra effort doesn't really make the uh, the end product worth it for me. Yes, I can make it look a little bit prettier, um, but the time and the effort involved, again, just for me, um, I just find it a little bit too cumbersome, a little bit too much work for not enough reward. Um, but back to the point of this video, um, you know, form over function, how do I design my stuff? I mean, as I say, I would highly recommend something very simple like this. Um, I've seen people who will make up um, templates on graph paper to, to a really, really high standard and, and high level of detail, um, kind of putting in all their little accents and um, sort of embellishments onto it before they've even started carving. For me personally, as I say, I would much rather make something of a rough size and shape. I mean, this gives me a good template to make a coffee scoop. This this is essentially my my coffee scoop template. Um, now, once I've roughed this out, um, and you know, I haven't got my other one to hand that I'm in the middle of making, but if you imagine this wasn't quite finished, so I've roughed it out and it looks a bit like this before I've sanded it, maybe. Um, you know, there's there's a number of things I can do with this. I can shorten down this handle so that I've just got a little tab to hold on to if I want something smaller or pocket size. You can do the same thing with eating spoons as well. Um, I could have taken a load of different options on this handle. I could have put in sort of lots of little cutouts. I could have maybe engraved something in there. Um, I could have chamfered down the edges. Um, you know, and a number of different things. And likewise with the spoon bowl, I like to have that quite traditional sort of flow in, uh, of the neck into the hand. I could have made that more pronounced. I could have made it less pronounced. You know, and you can do all these things once you've finished your roughing out. And that's how I tend to do it. There's nothing wrong with planning it all in advance, but I like to see where the wood takes me. And I know that's a bit of a cliche, but that's just the way I like to carve. Right then guys, well I hope that's given you something to think about. For me personally, and this really is just personal opinion, simplicity and function is, is what I kind of aim for. It's what I like carving, you know, I, I like producing things that do their job. Um, kind of that rustic feel, um, you know, really does it for me. Um, you know, and I know that that won't be for everyone. You know, other people want something very elaborate and very, very pretty. Um, and again, there's nothing wrong with that. It just doesn't really float my boat. So I hope it was useful. Hope it's given you something to think about. Comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I hope you'll all join me next time. Cheers, guys.